This is Sons of Morthrocken. I'm Jay. I'm Ed. I'm D. And we are discussing whether or not Bran is the Night King. A lot of to-do has been for a while. The theory that Bran may be the Night King, after watching the finale, people are honing in on the footage of the White Walkers and the Whites walking through the wall where it was broken down, and the aerial footage, people believe, is the sigil of the dire wolf. It's some kind <coughs> it's of not. <laughs> it's some kind of geometric shape or formation. We know that for sure. Circles don't there, appear yeah, in there nature. are there are circles in it and yes, very good. <laughs> very good. It's something. It was deliberate, it was intentional. I don't think initially just discussing that by itself and we'll move on to whether or not Bran is the Night King, it didn't look to me sufficiently like the Stark Sigil. I can see where people are making the comparison, but I think it's more of the what's the ink blot test, the Rorschach. 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 Yeah, Rorschach, Rorschach, whatever it's people. Rorschach. Rorschach. <laughs> you shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Rorschach test. Where people are seeing what they want to see. Kind I of, for one I for one saw the Tully sigil of a trout. I believe that the Night King is, in fact, none other than Sweet Robin himself. (laughs) Hold on. Sweet Robin's not a Tully. (laughs) No. uh, Yeah. No, yeah, he is. He's John Aaron's son. Yeah, on his mother's side. He's a Tully. So what is John Aaron's sigil? Uh, I I don't know. Oh, oh, it's a a bird. It's a bird? Yeah. Did you see? It's a roar shark. Yeah, it's a roar shark. (laughs) Roar (laughs) shark. Did you see a bird? No, but it's not necessarily, you know, right now. John's sigil, he uses the wolf, and that's his mother's sigil. He's at least half wolf. He's going to be half Dagron, too. And so he gets to be both. Why can't... John doesn't know that he's a target. Why can't Sweet Robin knows he's a Tully, though? I and, think, an, and an Aaron. I think you're just covering for the fact that you forgot he's actually... No, I didn't know. John Aaron's no, son. No, no, no. Uh, you may not know this, but a child is composed of two people. One the mother, one the father. And the mother's side on this one is Tully. And that was a Tully trout. For sure, Sweet Robin confirmed Night King. <laughs> <laughs> and my thought on this whole to-do is, I don't care. I hate time travel. <laughs> I think it is a terrible device unless the story itself is about time travel. So we have Back to the Future, which is a great time travel movie, or trilogy, if you will. But when you introduce time travel into a story that's not specifically about it, it's a terrible plot device. You look at the Harry Potter franchise, and the freaking Time Turner is the weakest story element in that whole series. Because it broke the entire narrative. Right, it, it, that's, and that's what it does. So, and I know this isn't the case, I wish that the way this worked is that Bran could observe things in the past, but not influence them. But we know he can, and I think that's a problem. So I don't really care one way or the other. I think it's a stupid theory. I hope it's not true. But we, we know he can... He warged into Hodor and created from Fat Boy Willis to Hodor to, to Hodor. Right. He did that. Yeah. And he can do that. So we know he can warg into He also called out to his dad he as did. he was so ascending the tower. The, the theory is based on the fact that he can do it. Now the question is, why would he do it? What, what would be the reason for him being the Night King? And that's where it falls off to me. I don't see any motive or reason. It doesn't make sense. Unless this is where one of the big critiques of the show at this point is that up until recently, the best part of Game of Thrones has been the political maneuvering and this complex chess game of different people vying for the throne. And that's what makes it interesting. Whereas... The White Walkers are just evil. They just represent evil. That's all the more they've been. They want to kill. They want to take over. They're just evil. So it takes away the complexity of the Game of Thrones and focuses in on this almost insurmountable, mindless evil. So the thing that I could see them doing something like this with is to explain they're not just evil and there's a lot more to it and to take away the fear that this just becomes uh, living versus dead and the excitement and the complexity of the show and the political maneuvering is still there. We're just to discover it and it's not just the mindless evil but i don't see brands re- I, I guess i i can't tell what would the white walkers want that brand would become part of that group or lead that group or come down south so take me through what this theory actually means or the brand is born because in the present brand is crippled the, it's the daily mail's theory and i can tell you what it is it's not is just theirs there, there are a lot of them the one that i've read it on was the daily mail and so that what what they had described is that Bran looped back into when the Night King was made, warged into that Night King guy as he was being turned, and that that made Bran trapped within the Night King somehow, and that then by being trapped, 
it's set into a series of motion that now Future Boy is trapped in Old Dude Night King. Uh, and they point to this quote from the, the Children of the Forest. Well, they were fighting you. No, no, they mean that they were fighting humanity. Right. And that that's why they created the Night King. It's not that they created the Night King to fight the Night King because Bran's the Night King. And so when they quote that, it tells me that they don't understand the context of the statement nor the timeline that's actively going on. I think the premise is ridiculous. I have a bet with someone for $5 over this that <laughs> Bran is not the Night King. And you can tell which side I'm on because I think it's preposterous. And I think if Bran was the Night King, I think Bran would be distributing a lot more secrets about how to beat the Night King right now. If he was aware of it and is still on the side of humanity, which he obviously is since he's taken down people like Littlefinger with his family, he would be disseminating knowledge. On the other hand, and I, I don't think Bran is the Night King, but on the other hand, Bran is computer boy now. He has lost who he is. That would fit in that theory if his personality, his person, who Bran is, is somewhere else, right? Because the person that is Bran now is a computer. But why would the loss of humanity mean that necessarily you wanted to destroy humanity? I think if you lost humanity, it might mean that you isolate yourself, but not necessarily that you would be a threat. I mean, even I'm entertaining that notion. I, I don't know that... I. If Bran were the Night King, I think we would find there's a lot more to why they're doing what they're doing, not that they just want to destroy humanity. Yeah. There's something more to that. I don't think it would be Bran gets locked in the body of this person that's turned into the Night King and then becomes evil. I think it would be we find out, guess what, there's a whole lot more to this than we know and a lot different motivations than we think the motivations are. That there are actual motivations other than evil, kill, kill, kill. That being said, I don't believe it. I don't think it's Bran. No. It doesn't make sense. I do think my, my prediction about the Night King and the White Walkers is that there is something deeper than what we're seeing on the surface, and they're not just pure evil. There's a culture, a history. A backstory. A backstory that we don't know that will make it less of a pure evil coming to kill everyone and more of a maybe telling the other side of, of the story. I don't want to make comparisons that are way off base, but you take Avatar. And on the one side, you have the humans that are there mining, you know, this beautiful planet and referring to the Navi as mud monkeys or something like that. And on the other side, you get to see what is their side of the story. You know, they're savages from the human side. From the other side, there's something more to them. So right now, we've seen all the humans' version of White Walkers and what they think of them. What are the White Walkers' versions and what's what's their take on what humanity's done to them? I think it's going to be one of the 12 Game of Thrones spinoffs, which is going to be... There's only four. Well, Wildly whatever. profitable. Yeah. I can tell you what the Night King's motives are. I can tell you. The Night King is going to go to the Vale of Aaron. He's going to resurrect Lisa Aaron and suck on that titty. Just one more time. Because the Night King is, in fact, <laughs> Sweet Robin. <laughs> and, and now he can turn that milk into ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fro-yo. <laughs> D. Last thoughts? <laughs> no, I can't follow that. I'm going to just... So it's all...